Hello guys, um, basically what I want to do is clear up some confusion regarding the stat file. If you look at my previous videos you'll see like annotations on there talking about the from and the stat and I was confused myself. Basically, the source of this um, issue was the stat also contains an image of the from um, and it contains other things. i um, got this file here. Offset or txt. Um, basically, I made this myself. With just quick um, finger knocked up. You know, opening up the start in the hex editor and the RAM in the hex hex editor, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, basically, obviously, as you can see, it's offsets. Um, yeah, um, basically, I'll explain it here. Um, obviously, the RAM starts from a sixty four. K ROM visa in hex by the way, if you didn't know, um K ROM from one two six four and the from from five two six three onwards to two five two six four. Um that was that flash ROM was causing me problems because I didn't realise that um flash ROM was get was getting saved in the stat and it was really weird and I couldn't, you know, work out why there was a difference. But um now I know um but yeah, when you save a stat, you save obviously the RAM, the KROM, the FROM. Um, but you also store um, a lot of other stuff. So um, yeah, I'll uh, put a link in the description to Dr. Health's website. He's got a breakdown of a pocket station. And um, yeah, it's uh, quite a useful um, diagram to see. But um, yeah, the stat contains your FROM. And um, I just want to reiterate this point. If you're going to use the PK21 emulator, without Zebra and you're going to use it standalone at the start of each gaming session load in the from and then at the end save the from and remember the from flash from is your memory card so you've got to copy it over every time Make, uh, let's just say for example I use EPSXE um, I'll, oh, I'll run my uh, what I'll first do is copy the memory card from EPSXE rename it to from you know, load up my emulator, pk21.exe, you know, run, run power, you know, file load start and then file misc load from and that should load in my memory card, you know, make some progress and then at the end, I'll do file save start and then file misc save from and then copy that from back over into the EPSXE memory cards folder just to keep it updated and that's how you use it standalone and um, yeah I just want to shout out to Dr. Hell again He's, uh, he makes really accurate emulators um, because he basically you know um, deconstructs and disassembles you know the um, pocket station and he's got you know uh, you know registers in this range you know rams in this range you know basically there's a breakdown of the pocket station but um, yeah I want to show you something um, if I get rid of this KROM here and uh, now I run the PK201 if I press run run pause obviously it's not going to run but if I do file load start it's working it's because the start also contains the KROM and um, that just reminds me I should have probably done this before I'll make a video on um, how to rip a pocket station BIOS successfully um, it's not too hard but um, there's one um, step at the end which uh, kind of caught me a bit off guard but um, yeah hope you enjoyed this video and it, hopefully it's cl cleared up the confusion I just want to re reiterate if you're using Zebra you don't need to worry the stat is all always saved which contains a from so you never really have to load in a from unless you know you save multiple froms with different progress in them and then you can load in the from um, also you can do that again save multiple stats you know kind of like save states but um, just uh, be careful on uh, how you rename them you know don't get the numbers muddled up but um, yeah thank you for watching this video guys and uh, yeah look I uh, look forward to making the other video 
for um, the biostomp. Thank you very much, guys.